Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how I structure Google Documents to help my students take group notes. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So here I have a document called a Group Notes Template. And what I will typically do, let's say that my computer science students are working on troubleshooting a problem. So maybe I have three students working together. And I'm going to insert a table in here. And we'll say that there's troubleshooting attempt one. And then I'll repeat that. And say there's troubleshooting attempt two and troubleshooting attempt three. And then the students can write their notes in here. Now, this assumes that they're working in groups here. But if they're each going to try troubleshooting technique one, troubleshooting technique two, and troubleshooting technique three, I might expand this table. And to expand this table, I'm now going to right click, and I'm going to insert a row below, and I'll insert another row below. And these will all expand as much as the students need. And so then student one writes here, student two, and student three will all take their notes about how troubleshooting technique number one worked out for them. Now, another way to think about doing this that I've also done when I was teaching US history, I would often give my students a couple or three articles to read and then report back their notes from that. And it works in a very similar manner. Again, I'll insert a table and this time here, we'll just put in Article 1, and I'll do Article 2, and then Article 3. And then again, we'll have Student 1, Student 2, and Student 3. And we'll do the same thing in each one of these columns. So student one, student one, student two, student two, and student three, student three, student three. And by doing this, my students now have space to write their notes. They can look at each other's notes and they know exactly where to write in the document without writing on top of them. Obviously in the classroom, instead of saying student one, I'll put in the actual student's name or maybe the initials. And here they will put in the initials. And here we'll put in the initials so that the students know exactly where they're writing. But again, give students some structure for taking group notes. And you can apply this to a lot of group activities. I've seen this done with science labs where each student reports their notes from the science lab in a column and box that's assigned to them. So, that's how you can use a table in Google Documents to give your students a little structure for group note taking. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.